you hear us talking about all the different manufacturers, 15 manufacturers here for GT and GTS, balancing those cars in each category to make it fair. That used to be an art, but you found out that now there's a little bit of science being applied. That's for sure. Pirelli World Challenge brought in Jeff Carter last year. He's in his second year right now. Earlier, I caught up with him to give his thoughts on exactly how he's making over 20 different makes in all four classes of the Pirelli World Challenge match. Last year when I came in, we wanted to establish a platform of uh, analyzing our data. We have a data acquisition system in all of our cars from Racekeeper. What we do is we uh, we capture the data. We do a post uh, post acquisition analysis, and in the off season we put in a few extra compound metrics so we can take it to the next level. Some of the metrics that we look at, we look at uh, obviously top speed. We look at cornering, braking G's. We take sector times uh, at different sectors uh, around the track. For instance, if we have a car that uh, that is showing an excessive top speed, but is is showing a pretty good uh, lap time. We have a way to dissect those metrics now and come up with uh, kind of a forensic analysis of where the car performs. For instance, speed is usually corrected with a, with a horsepower adjustment, and a handling is typically a handled with a weight adjustment. And so whether it goes up or down, uh, those are kind of the areas that we look into. In the past, uh, we've always had a little bit of controversy in whether it was uh, warranted or not, and now we have uh, three or four different ways that we can triangulate the data and uh, have a way to substantiate and legitimize uh, uh, our changes moving forward. It is very difficult to uh, match all the different brands. We have great brand diversity, as you just said, and um, really you can't argue with data. You know, people try to break, uh, break holes in our system, but in the end the data says what it says, and uh, we do have a very professional paddock here at the Prelude World Challenge, and everybody uh, has been very good. I do spend a lot of time talking with our competitors, and. Yeah, it is a very difficult job, but uh, it's challenging and very rewarding. So later on in the broadcast, we'll go ahead and give you Jeff Carter's number if you have something to complain about as well. Yeah, Jeff Carter, just a remarkable man, and what he's doing with this, I think, is going to pay huge dividends down the road in getting these cars balanced and really letting everybody just drop the hammer and go for it. 